Hi, it was the day after Reshma Sajani's public failure. She woke up in a hotel room surrounded by half-eaten Oreos and champagne unopened. She felt completely ashamed and she sobbed. It was 2010, she'd run for Congress and really thought that she might win. She even called people the night before and told them it would be close, but ended up with just 19% of the vote. She'd invested all of her life savings, she'd lost it all, um, but she felt that she'd done something even worse than that. She let down the friends and supporters, the people closest to her who also invested months of their own lives and their own savings on her behalf. And in her book, Women Who Don't Wait in Line, she describes her feelings of deep shame and embarrassment the morning after and her fear of the public humiliation that she knew was coming on social media. She sobbed a second time, then picked herself up, got out of bed and went to face the world and her phone was heaving with messages and the first one she listened to was from someone who said how proud they were of her and how great her future was going to be and that gave her the strength to start returning calls and she was expecting a terrible process, painful process where she'd just be apologizing to everyone but instead heard message after message of support, like loss can make you stronger, and that she should be proud that she ran the race on ideas, not incumbency, and that what she had to do now was pick herself up, dust herself off, and approach failure with enthusiasm. And she was stunned and moved and strengthened and realized that her career wasn't over, it was just beginning. So Reshma, former, former New York deputy public advocate, is the first Indian woman to run for Congress and she founded the nonprofit Girls Who Code, which is closing the technology gender gap, which is wonderful stuff. Um, and in her book, she talks also about the importance of having a supportive network of people and says that it's our aversion to risk and failure that's holding some women back and she advocates a new model of female leadership where women actually encourage and support each other and I think that that will make a big difference. As T.S. Eliot said, those who risk going too far, only those people can possibly find out how far one can go. So on Amazon there is a critical review by a woman called Mandy Payne who applauds Reshma's boldness but says that her young niece it wants to stop working and have a family and that a book like this may discourage women from doing anything other than conquering the world. Well, I think the point is that um, if our personal circumstances allow, we can choose what works for us and no simple, no single book is going to change that no matter how big a splash it makes in popular culture. So in honor of making lemons into lemonade as Reshma did, I've created a cocktail called an epic fail float to remind us that failure can herald success if we don't wait in line. So we have champagne no longer unopened, we've got organic Maya lemon vodka, and we've got lemon sorbet infused with rosemary. It smells delicious. And this is a rosemary tree here. So I plucked a piece of that and popped it in here. Let's give it a try and see how it is. Mmm, it's delicious. Sweet and with a, a hint of rosemary, a little bit of pine. Really lovely. So here's to you. Cheers.